of the particular composition of the magical circle, of exorcisms, benedictions, and the conjurations of every day in the week, and the manner of working described. Book 2. Part 3. The following instructions are the principal and sum total of all we have said, only we have brought it rather into a closer train of experiment and practice than any of the rest, for here you may behold the distinct functions of the spirits, likewise the whole perfection of magical ceremonies is here described, syllable by syllable. But as the greatest power is attributed to the circles, for they are certain fortresses, we will now clearly explain, and show the composition and figure of a circle. The composition of the circle. For the figure of the circle, see the plate. The forms of circles are not always one and the same, but are changed according to the order of spirits that are to be called, their places, times, days, and hours, for in making a circle it ought to be considered in what time of the year, what day, and what hour, what spirits you would call, and to what star or region they belong, and what functions they have, therefore, to begin, let there be made three circles of the latitude of nine feet, distant one from another about a hand's breadth. First, write in the middle circle the name of the hour wherein you do the work, in the second place, write the name of the angel of the hour, in the third place, the seal of the angel of the hour, fourthly, the name of the angel that rules the day in which you work, and the names of his ministers, in the fifth place, the name of the present time, sixthly, the name of the spirits ruling in that part of time, and their presidents, seventhly, the name of the head of the sign ruling in the time, eighthly, the name of the earth, according to the time of working, ninthly, and for the completing of the middle circle, write the name of the sun and moon, according to the said rule of time for as the times are changed, so are the names, and in the outer circle let there be drawn, in the four angles, the names of the great presidential spirits of the air that day wherein you would do this work, viz. the name of the king and his three ministers. Without the circle, in four angles, let pentagons be made. In the inner circle write four divine names, with four crosses interposed, in the middle of the circle, viz. towards the east let be written alpha towards the west, omega, and let a cross divide the middle of the circle. When the circle is thus finished, according to rule, you shall proceed to consecrate and bless it, saying, in the name of the holy, blessed, and glorious trinity, proceed we to our work in these mysteries to accomplish that which we desire, we therefore, in the names aforesaid, consecrate this piece of ground for our defense so that no spirit whatsoever shall be able to break these boundaries, neither be able to cause injury nor detriment to any of us here assembled, but that they may be compelled to stand before this circle, and answer truly our demands, so far as it pleaseth him who liveth for ever and ever, and who says, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, which is, and which was, and which is to come, the Almighty, I am the first and the last, who am living and was dead, and behold I live, forever and ever, and I have the keys of death and hell. Bless, O Lord! This creature of earth wherein we stand, confirm, O God! Thy strength in us, so that neither the adversary nor any evil thing may cause us to fail, through the merits of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is also to be known that the angels rule the hours in a successive order, according to the course of the heavens and the planets to which they are subject, so the same spirit which governeth the day rules also the first hour of the day, the second from this governs the second hour, and so on throughout, and when seven planets and hours have made their revolution it returns again to the first which rules the day. Therefore we shall first speak of the names of the hours, viz. of the names of the angels and their seals it shall be spoken in their proper places, but here we will show the names of the times. A year therefore is fourfold and is divided into spring, summer, autumn, and winter, the names thereof are these, the spring, Talvi, the summer, Kasmarin, autumn, Adarsal, winter, Phalas. The angels of the spring Krakasa, Kor, Amatiel, Commissaras. The head of the sign in spring is called Spargligal. The name of the earth in spring, Amadai. The names of the sun and moon in spring, Sun, Abraham, Moon. Aguzita. The angels of the summer Gargatel, Tariel, Gavil. 
the head of the sign of the summer, Jubil. The name of the earth in summer, Festivity. The names of the sun and moon in summer, Sun, Athim, Moon, Armatis. The angels of the autumn Tarquam, Gwaba. The head of the sign of autumn, Torquarit. The name of the earth in autumn, Rabinara. The names of the sun and moon in autumn, the sun, Abrogini. The moon, Matter Signize. The angels of the winter immobile, Citarari. The head of the sign of winter, Atrib. The name of the earth in winter, Gerimia. The names of the sun and moon in winter, the sun, Kamutov, the moon, Afatarim. These things being known, finish the consecration of the circle by saying, Thou shalt purge me with hyssop, O Lord, and I shall be clean, Thou shalt wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Then sprinkle the same with holy water, and proceed with the benediction of the perfumes. Benediction of perfumes. The God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, bless here the creatures of these kinds, that they may fill up the power and virtue of their odors so that neither the enemy nor any false imagination may be able to enter into them, through our Lord Jesus Christ, and see. Then sprinkle the same with holy water. The exorcism of fire into which the perfumes are to be put. I exorcise thee, O thou creature of fire, by the only true God Jehovah, Adonai, Tetragrammaton, that forthwith thou cast away every phantasm from thee, that it shall do no hurt to any one. We beseech thee. O Lord, to bless this creature of fire, and sanctify it, so that it may be blessed to set forth the praise and glory of thy holy name, and that no hurt may be permitted to come to the exorciser or spectators, through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Of the habit of the exorcist. It should be made, as we have before described, of fine white linen and clean, and to come round the body loose, but close before and behind of the pentacle of Solomon. For the figure see the plate. It is always necessary to have this pentacle in readiness to bind with, in case the spirits should refuse to be obedient, as they can have no power over the exorcist while provided with and fortified by the pentacle, the virtue of the holy names therein written presiding with wonderful influence over the spirits. It should be made in the day and hour of mercury upon parchment made of a kid skin, or virgin, or pure, clean white paper, and the figures and, letters wrote in pure gold, and it ought to be consecrated and sprinkled, as before often spoken, with holy water. When the vesture is put on, it will be convenient to say the following oration, an oration when the habit or vesture is put on. Anno, Amaka, Amides, Theodonias, Anita, by the merits of the angels, O Lord! I will put on the garment of salvation that this which I desire I may bring to effect, through thee, the most holy Adonai, whose kingdom endureth for ever and ever. Amen. The manner of working. Let the moon be increasing and equal, if it can then be conveniently done, but especially let her not be combust, or in via combustor, which is between 14 degrees of Libra and 14 degrees of Scorpio. The operator ought to be clean and purified for nine a days before he does the work. Let him have ready the perfume appropriated to the day wherein he does the work, and he must be provided with holy water from a clergyman, or he may make it holy himself, by reading over it the consecration of water of baptism. He must have a new vessel of earth, with fire, the vesture, and the pentacle, and let all these things be rightly and duly consecrated and prepared. Let one of the companions carry the vessel with fire, and the perfumes, and let another bear the book, the garment, and pentacle, and let the operator himself carry the sword, over which should be said a prayer of consecration, and on the middle of the sword on one side let there be engraven aglicoma and on the other side, on, tetragrammaton dot and the place being fixed upon where the circle is to be erected, let him draw the lines we have before taught, and sprinkle the same with holy water, consecrating, and see, and see. The operator ought therefore to be prepared with fasting, chastity, and abstinence, for the space of three days before the day of operation, and on the day that he would do this work, being clothed with the forementioned vesture, and furnished with pentacles, perfumes, a sword, Bible, paper, pen, and consecrated ink, 
and all things necessary hereunto, let him enter the circle, and call the angels from the four parts of the world which do rule the seven planets, the seven days of the week, colors, and metals, whose names you will see in their places, and, with bended knees, first let him say the Patnoster or Lord's Prayer, and then let him invocate the said angels, saying, O Angeli! Supradict esto tajutos mehi petition e and inajutorum mehi, in mes rebeset petition ibus. Then call the angels from the four parts of the world that rule the air the same day in which he makes the experiment, and, having employed especially all the names and spirits within the circle, say, Ovo omnes, ajutor atqui contesta posed emmadoni, pahajos, theos, isturos, athanatos, paracletos, Alpha and Omega, and Bahag Trionomena Secreta, Agla, On, Tetragrammaton, Quad Hodi Debitus Ad Impalia Quad Cupio. These things being performed, let him read the conjuration assigned for the day. But if they shall be pertinacious or refractory, and will not yield themselves obedient, neither to the conjuration assigned for the day, nor any of the prayers before made, then use the exorcism following a general exorcism of the spirits of the air. We being made after the image of God, endued with power from God and made after his will, do exorcise you, by the most mighty and powerful name of God, El, strong and wonderful, here name the spirit which is to appear, and we command you by him who spoke the word and it was done, and by all the names of God, and by the name Adonai, El, Elohim, Elo, Zabath, Elian, Ezechi, Jar. Tetragrammaton, say I, Lord God Most High, we exorcise you, and powerfully command you that you forthwith appear unto us here before this circle in a fair human shape, without any deformity, or tortuosity, come ye all such, because we command you by the name your and vor, which Adam heard and spoke, and by the name of God, Agla, which Lot heard, and was saved with his family, and by the name Joth which Jacob heard from the angel wrestling with him, and was delivered from the hand of his brother Esau, and by the name Anaphex Aton, which Aaron heard and spoke, and was made wise, and by the name Zebath, which Moses named, and all the rivers were turned into blood, and by the name Ezechi Oriston, which Moses named, and all the rivers brought forth frogs, and they ascended into the houses of the Egyptians, destroying all things, and by the name Malian, which Moses named, and there was great hail, such as had not been since the beginning of the world, and by the name Adonai, which Moses named, and there came up locusts, which appeared upon the whole land of Egypt, and devoured all which the hail had left, and by the name Schema Ramathia, which Joshua called upon, and the sun stayed his course, and by the name Alpha and Omega, which Daniel named, and destroyed Bel and slew the dragon, and in the name Emmanuel, which the three children, Sidra, Misach, and Abednego, sung in the midst of the fiery furnace, and were delivered, and by the name Hajos, and by the seal of Adonai, and by Ischeros, Athanatos, Paracletos, and by these three secret names, Agla, On, Tetragrammaton, I do adjure and contest you, and by these names, and by all the other names of the living and true God, our Lord Almighty, I exorcise and command you, by him who spoke the word and it was done, to whom all creatures are obedient, and by the dreadful judgment of God, and by the uncertain sea of glass, which is before the divine majesty, mighty and powerful, by the four beasts before the throne, having eyes before and behind, and by the fire round about his throne, and by the holy angels of heaven, by the mighty wisdom of God, we do powerfully exorcise you, that you appear here before this circle to fulfill our will in all things which shall seem good unto us, by the seal of Baal Darker, and by this name Primeumaton, which Moses named, and the earth opened and swallowed up Kara, Dathkan, and Abiram, and in the power of that name Primeumaton, commanding the whole host of heaven, we curse you, and deprive you of your, office, joy, and place, and do bind you in the depth of the bottomless pit, that to remain until the dreadful day of the last judgment and we bind you into eternal fire, and into the lake of fire and brimstone, unless you forthwith appear before this circle to do our will therefore, come ye, by these names, Adonai, Zabath, Adonai, Amiorim, come ye, come ye, come ye, 
Adonai commandeth, Sadi, the most mighty king of kings, whose power no creature is able to resist, be unto you most dreadful, unless ye obey, and forthwith affably appear before this circle, let miserable ruin and fire unquenchable remain with you, therefore come ye, in the name of Adonai, Zabath, Adonai, Amai Orim, come, come, why stay you? Hasten. Adonai, say die, the king of kings commands you, L, 80, Titsib, Asia, Hin, Chn, Minosal, Akadan, Ve, Va, E, X, A, L, 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 A, He, Hor, 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 Vo, 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 Vo. A prayer to God, to be said in the four parts of the world in the circle. Amarul, Tania, Lat Eastern, Rabur, Teniba, Lat Eastern, Iska, Aladia, Alpha and Omega, Laced, Origin, Adonai, O most merciful Heavenly Father. Have mercy upon me, although a sinner, make appear the arm of thy power in me this day against these obstinate spirits, that one, by thy will, may be made a contemplator of thy divine works, and may be illustrated with all wisdom, to the honor and glory of thy holy name. I humbly beseech thee, that these spirits which I call by thy judgment may be bound and constrained to come and give true and perfect answers to those things which I shall ask of them, and that they may do and declare those things unto us, which by me may be commanded of them, not hurting any creature, neither injuring or terrifying me or my fellows, nor hurting any other creature, and affrighting no man, and let them be obedient to those things which are required of them. Then, Standing in the middle of the circle, stretch out thy hand towards the pentacle, saying, By the pentacle of Solomon I have called you, give me a true answer. Then follows this oration. Baralainensis, Baldarchiensis, Pormica, and Apologia says, By the most mighty kings and powers, and the most powerful princes, Genii, Leachide, ministers of the Tartrian seat, chief prince of the seat of Apologia. In the ninth legion, I invoke you, and by invocating, conjure you, and being armed with power from the supreme majesty, I strongly command you, by him who spoke and it was done, and to whom all creatures are obedient, and by this ineffable name, Tetragrammat and Jehovah, which being feared the elements are overthrown, the air is shaken, the sea runneth back, the fire is quenched, the earth trembles, and all the host of the celestials, and terrestrials, and infernals do tremble together, and are troubled and confounded, wherefore, forthwith and without delay, do you come from all parts of the world, and make rational answers unto all things I shall ask of you, and come ye peaceably, visibly and affably now, without delay, manifesting what we desire, being conjured by the name of the living and true God, Helirin. And fulfill our commands, and persist unto the end, and according to our intentions, visibly and affably speaking unto us with a clear voice, intelligible, and without any ambiguity. Of the appearance of the spirits. These things being duly performed, there will appear infinite visions, apparitions, phantasms, and see. Beating of drums, and the sound of all kinds of musical instruments, which is done by the spirits, that with a the terror they might force some of the companions out of the circle because they can effect nothing against the exorcist himself, after this you shall see an infinite company, of archers, with a great multitude of horrible beasts, which will arrange themselves as if they would devour the companions, nevertheless, fear nothing. Then the exorcist, holding the pentacle in his hand, let him say, avoid hence these iniquities, by virtue of the banner of God. Then will the spirits be compelled to obey the exorcist and the company shall see them no more. Then let the exorcist, stretching out his hand with the pentacle, say, Behold the pentacle of Solomon, which I have brought into your presence, behold the person of the exorcist in the middle of the exorcism, who is armed by God, without fear, and well provided, who potently invocateth and calleth you by exorcising, come, therefore, with speed, by the virtue of these names, I Sarah, I Sarah, defer not to come, by the eternal names of the living and true God, Eloi, Archima, Rabur, and by the pentacle of Solomon here present, which powerfully reigns over you, and by the virtue of the celestial spirits, your lords, and by the person of the exorcist, 
in the middle of the exorcism, being conjured, make haste and come, and yield obedience to your master, who is called Octonimos. This being performed, immediately there will be hissings in the four parts of the world, and then immediately you shall see great motions, which when you see, say, why stay you? Wherefore do you delay? What do you? Prepare yourselves to be obedient to your master in the name of the Lord, be that or that at rushing upon Abrak, a beer coming upon Abra. Then they will immediately come in their proper forms, and when you see them before the circle, show them the pentacle covered with fine linen, uncover it, and say, Behold your confusion if you refuse to be obedient, and suddenly they will appear in a peaceable form, and will say, Ask what you will, for we are prepared to fulfill all your commands, for the Lord hath subjected us hereunto. Then let the exorcist say, Welcome spirits, or most noble princes, because I have called you through him to whom every knee doth bow, both of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth, in whose hands are all the kingdoms of kings, neither is there any able to contradict his majesty. Wherefore, I bind you, that you remain affable and visible before this circle, so long and so constant, neither shall you depart without my license, until you have truly and without any fallacy performed my will, by virtue of his power who hath set the sea her bounds, beyond which it cannot pass, nor go beyond the law of his providence, viz. of the Most High God. Lord, and King, who hath created all things. Amen. Then let the exorcist mention what he would have done. After which say, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, go, in peace unto your places, peace be between us and you, be ye ready to come when you are called. For the figures of the circle, pentacle, and other instruments, see the plate. Now, that you may have an idea of the manner of composing the circle, we are given the scheme of one for the first hour of the Lord's day, in spring, 